Hello everyone! So March is my birthday month and therefore I was really really hoping for a very cool Art Snacks box this month and Art Snacks did not disappoint. This is another one of my favorites. We've had two just stellar months in a row. This month's box was all about fun pens so it was another one that I felt like was just made for me. Opening this up for the snack, I got Smarties which is the only thing I'm not too thrilled about with this box, but I'm picky about my snacks. You know what? I'll get over it. As you can see, I even use pens to write reminders on my hand. <laughs> if there's something that I've written in my planner over and over and over again and I keep forgetting, I'll just write it on my hand because I'm generally looking at my hands all day, so that way I can't forget. So, my quirks aside, in this we have a Sakura Jelly Roll pen. Any of you 90s kids will remember these. I used to be absolutely obsessed with these in middle school. I would collect them, those in the milky gel pens. And then we have two deco brush markers. These look like some really cool paint markers. I'm excited to try them out. I'm always into sampling new paint markers. Then we have a Uniball Signo Gel Impact Pen in a metallic silver and a Pentel Arts Dual Metallic Brush Pen. This looks really interesting. And can't forget about the little Art Snacks logo sticker. This floral print one is really cool. It's actually one of my favorites I've gotten in a while. So pretty exciting. I recently became a new ant. Well, a new ant to a human this time. I was a cat ant before, but I have a new niece named Isla. And so I decided to draw a picture of her and my cat niece together for <laughs> this month's art snacks challenge. So right away with this metallic brush pen, I like that how you release the ink is by pressing a button on top. With a lot of paint markers, you have to push up and down really quick with a tip to release the paint. And I feel like that makes the tips get dulled down way quicker. The end of this is an actual brush not a brush marker tip, which is fun, so you really can just paint with this. Now, using this metallic silver gel pen I have, right away I really like it because I'm noticing the opacity of the ink. A lot of times when you have metallic ink or metallic paint or the paint pen, anything like that, it's a little more transparent, but this has really bold coverage. It has a very intense shine as well. Um, this one's a 1.0 millimeter tip. The only thing I wish is that it came in some finer tip sizes because I hardly use pens for lining that are this thick. I just tend to work with finer lines a lot more because I like to add a lot of detail and sometimes with my pen and ink work I can work kind of small. So that's the only thing is I hope eventually they come out with some finer line weights, but otherwise I really, really love this. Now for the acrylic paint markers. I'm always interested in trying new types of paint markers because I use them a lot where I teach. I run an arts program for adults with disabilities. It's inclusive, so everyone's welcome to join and we get a really wide mix of ages, abilities, etc. But it's geared towards being a comfortable environment for all abilities and especially geared towards those with disabilities. And a lot of our students find using paint markers a lot more accessible than painting with a brush. It's just easier for them to control and easier for them to fill in small areas or details with some of their dexterity issues that they struggle with. Again, what I like about these paint markers is that you don't have to press up and down on the tip to release the paint because like I was saying before, I feel like that always causes the tips to be crushed down and smushed and you know no longer a fine point anymore from having to pump up and down in order to release the paint. So these are really great because there's no pumping at all required. The acrylic paint simply just flows into the tip like any other marker. The tip on these is very nice. I mean, it's just firm enough that you can touch just the tip of your paper and it won't even bend so you can get a really tiny, tiny fine line. But then you can also hold it on its side for 
a wider weight so you get a large range of line weights with this. I also like the evenness I'm getting with some paint markers. Um, there can be some streakiness or when you kind of scribble back and layer over partially an area you've already filled in. Um, you can get some discoloration or some darker and lighter areas. Um, but with this, it's completely smooth, even coverage. You can't see any of your marks. So now I'm going to use my Jelly Roll pen just to fill in some of these white areas with this lighter pastel color. Just add a little more pattern and texture. I mean, I like it, but now that I've used all these other pens, actually, I think this is my least favorite one. But to be fair, it's also the least expensive one out of all of these. So I'm pretty happy with my Kitty and Baby in Space Art Snacks Challenge drawing. I'm excited to show my brother later. And again, another great box. I love discovering these new brands and new products that I would definitely, definitely use in my own artwork on a weekly basis, maybe even on a daily basis. These are fantastic and I would buy more of every single one of these products. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this and want to catch another unboxing next month, be sure to subscribe. Thanks again!